Hey, YouTubers and YouTubies. It's Michelle. It's uh, 10 30 at night, and I am sore. Every day. Sore, 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 sore. It's my new best friend. Right now, I can't live with it, and I can't live without it. I got up this morning, went out there to go walk, took my first step, and I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I am so stiff. I mean, my toes hurt, my ankles are hurting, my knees hurt, my shins hurt, my thighs hurt, my muscles hurt. Guys, I'm not doing no light walking. I'm telling you, I'm sweating. Today, when I was out there this morning, it's not even 7 o'clock when I'm doing this stuff, I had a sweat drop drip all the way down my back. It was like I just come out of the shower. I am so flipping sore. You have no idea. I mean, my fingers hurt. My fingers hurt. So my MP3 player is working. I had to go online and look up my Sansa clip and figure out why it wasn't charging. One of those things it suggested was to plug it into the wall, plug in an, an adapter into the wall and then charge it from the wall, which seemed to have worked. There's 15 hours of battery life on that when it's fully charged, and it lasted for probably 40 minutes this morning, so that was a good thing. Um, <laughs> what's new? I don't know. I had my first hater on a video comment the other day in one of these walking videos. I have somebody who said ugly is the comment. I uh, thanked him for his comment and Hoped he had a nice day. Hadn't heard from him since. Kill him with kindness, folks. Works every time. I was telling somebody on the um, forum I mentioned before on Facebook or this page, this page that's now been closed. If you wanted to join it, you're going to have to ask the individual who's created it to be a member of it. But anyway, there I was talking. I had posted a comment up about. Well, I commented, and then it goes to my. It feeds to my Facebook page. So she, the the creator of this page where I treat it like a forum, asked me what that person's problem was, and I was like, I don't really know, and uh, why did they say that that word ugly? And I said, I'm assuming they think that I'm ugly. Um, I was telling her that there was this other site that I was on. I was working on a crochet project. And I take pictures periodically of the advancement of this crochet project I was working on. And um, had somebody come on there and said to me things like, you're the ugliest person on the planet. You're so horrid looking. Why do you keep taking pictures? nobody wants to see your ugly face um, and initially what I do was sort of like a, a type therapy where I would go in and I type out all the anger and then I delete it all and I type something else instead and the something else that I typed was thank you for your comment um, I hope you have a great day Godspeed you know whatever something nice and he'd come back the next day or the day after whenever I post the next picture up and he'd say again these phrases these vile thoughts that I could absorb them if I wanted to I could internally take them in and start to believe that his view of me is an accurate view or I could simply say what I say now and that's your opinion to myself 
and feedback positivity, which is what I did. So this next day he does it, he says something, you know, again about the way I look and how fat I am and how ugly I am. And, and I again replied with, I'm so glad that you commented on my page. It's nice to see you. I hope you have a great day. I think I did it five times. Guy never talked to me again. It was it was no fun. He wasn't going to get the charge out of me. And yet, I won the victory. See, I can do a little victory dance because I won. I didn't let him get under my skin. I didn't allow him the power to tell me and dictate to me who I am to myself and I didn't have to take those words in and personalize them to myself. Whatever anybody else's thoughts are about you, that's their problem. That doesn't have to be your problem. Whatever you think about yourself is what matters most. So a lot of uh, people out there think that when we get gastric surgery we're doing it so that we can socially be accepted by everybody else and in reality for me it's so that I can be accepted by myself. I have an image of who I am as a thinner person who physically when I look at myself I'm not matching. I don't like that. I, I like the image that now I'm not talking like she's some sort of sexy voluptuous bikini clad hot mama. That would be nice but, <laughs> but not totally not my style. Uh, I don't believe in bikinis. <laughs> Uh, and for only my personal preference, I don't need to go into any ex explanations about it. I don't like to expose my body, and it's mostly because I've been plus size my entire life, and I don't believe that that will change if I ever get to be a thinner me. I'll, I'll always be plus size because I think the size I'm going to be at when I hit 160 is a 16, 18, somewhere in there, it might be a 20. I don't know, but um, I'll always be plus size. So in my head, I will have matched my goal, but not enough that I feel secure that I that I look like a hot, sexy mama to the rest of the world. I'm, I don't feel like I have to show that. Um, confidence in myself is what I want to show. I want to show that I feel like I feel good. I want to show that I feel like I feel pretty. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. La -di -da -di -di -da -di -di -da -pa 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 -pa. Uh, one of my favorite movies. <laughs> um, can you guess which one it is? Tell me in a comment and uh, I'll tell you if you're right. Um, and don't go looking it up. Don't go looking it up. That's cheating. <laughs> um, just if you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't say you don't. That's fine. Um, the confidence that you have within yourself is the most important thing. You need to feel secure with yourself. And as I say this, I'm taking singing lessons and very disconfident in my voice. I am very scared to sing. I'm very scared to sing out in public. I am mortified. I'm terrified. I have a gift. I can't. I know. You're like, well, you just sang to me. You didn't have a problem. You're not here. <laughs> while I'm recording it, a video camera is. Husband is in the bedroom sleeping, my son is in a room sleeping. Nobody's here with me, and I'm not afraid to sing in front of my family. I'm completely, I could belt it out for them. It doesn't bother me at all, because um, I know how they feel about me. But when I have to do it in front of other people, including my singing coach, <sighs> you know, because... Um, because of the critique and I have to take it sorry I don't I don't like to be critiqued I don't like to feel belittled which I don't in my singing class and my my, my coach does not belittle me but there are times when people are saying things to you like that guy on that other page that's belittling and no matter how strong I've made myself no matter how strong I appear to the world I'm still very scared I'm very human I have feelings 
and sometimes I get in the way. I didn't mean to come on here and, uh, and cry. But I just, I, the whole point of this uh, channel for everybody is so that you can see that you're not alone. That I'm human. I'm, I, I'm not any major success. I've lost 20 pounds, 21 pounds, give or take a pound here and there, in almost six months of having sleeve surgery. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm now just now including the walking in 30 days. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to explain the fact that it doesn't go away. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing it all. The uh, information that I get fed by other people is the same or slightly different information that I'm already utilizing. Or have already tried, or have already had bashed into my brain. I, I, I know how to do it. It's here. It's up here, and I'm doing everything out here. But physically, if it doesn't change, there's nothing anybody can tell me that's going to change anything. Information-wise, it's not going to do anything. So I I don't know. I'm still I'm still waiting. I haven't weighed myself today. I don't know. Maybe I'm two pounds lighter, maybe I'm three pounds heavier. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not gonna stress on it. But uh, my thing today was to come on here and tell you that oh and I have one more day. <laughs> one more flipping day. <laughs> I really, really need it. I hurt everywhere. And I'm no baby. I can take the pain. I take pain all the time. I have sciatica. I don't take any medicine for my sciatica. And it shoots through my back and down my leg and into my pinky toe every day, all day long. Sometimes in the middle of the night. It keeps me from sleeping, and I don't do any medicine for it. So, this continual pain from walking is uh, wearing me down. I'm glad I get to have a weekend where I can potentially heal and feel better by Monday again, because this is really hard for me. This is hard, but I do it because I'm committed to this goal, this 30 days. I'm going to try to get down to 200 so that I can get that iPad. I don't know what to do if I, get, if I can't get to 200. I don't know. Well, these tears are mostly because I'm just tired of, I'm tired of being in pain. I'm just tired of the pain. I mean, my my feet hurt. I get up and my legs hurt. And I have to do it again. Day five. One week down. <laughs> Once I get done with tomorrow, I'll, I'll be one week down. And then uh, Monday will be the start of uh, week two. So if I can look at it like that, then that's, that's okay. And anyway, YouTubers and YouTubies, it's time for me to go to bed because i got to get up in just a few more hours to do this one more time. Oh, I want to tell you that I walked 17 times around the church today. Yesterday was 16. The day before that was 15. And Monday was 10. So I'm thinking I'll do, oh, if I can survive it, 20 tomorrow. Wish me luck. Bye, YouTubers and YouTubies.